Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today, we are going to dive into the intriguing world of industrial temperature sensors. We'll take you behind the scenes of these essential devices, explore the six major types, and give you a glimpse of their diverse applications. From refrigerators to server banks, these sensors play a crucial role in maintaining the optimal temperature. Later in this video, you'll also get to know about Upkeep's innovative wireless temperature sensors. Now let's get started. Welcome to the fascinating universe of industrial temperature sensors. These unsung heroes keep our world of machinery running smoothly. Now let's pull back the curtain and take a closer look at these temperature sensors. So, what exactly is a temperature sensor? In simple terms, these are devices that monitor ambient temperatures, probe readings, and record temperatures at regular intervals on machinery and equipment. They can either be wireless or hardwired into a larger CMMS network for easy access to the readings. But that's just scratching the surface. There are actually six major types of temperature sensors, each with its own unique functionality. Let's dive into each one of them. First up, we have the thermocouple sensors. These are voltage devices that measure differences or fluctuations in voltage to determine the temperature. They might not be the most accurate, but they do work across wider temperature ranges than any other temperature sensors. Plus, they are durable, cost-effective, and versatile. Second, we have infrared sensors. These sensors read the different temperatures of the area or piece of equipment they're scanning and the motions within their scanning range. Their simple design, low power requirement, and portability make them a popular choice. Third on our list are thermometers, the most familiar of all temperature sensors. They can measure the temperature of fluids, gases, or solids, depending on their application. Just think about what happens when the HVAC units fail. Chaos, right? Next up is the silicon diode sensor, a specialized type of temperature sensor that tracks extreme temperatures. Imagine the temperature fluctuations that rocket fuel goes through. If these sensors malfunction, the results can be catastrophic. Fifth, we have resistance temperature detectors, or RTDs. These sensors correlate the resistance of the RTD element with temperature to measure it. They provide the greatest accuracy and are generally the most expensive. They are best when high levels of accuracy are needed. Finally, we have negative temperature coefficient sensors. These provide a steady resistance that correlates to changes in temperature. As a rule, the resistance is high at lower temperatures and lessens as it rises. These are specialized sensors used in a few, but crucial, applications. Now let's talk about some common and not so common places where temperature sensors are used. Refrigerators are a prime example. If these aren't working, someone is having a bad day. Small fluctuations can freeze up the entire unit and ruin the contents. Cold storage units, similar to refrigerators, rely on these sensors to maintain different consistent temperatures. Boilers, on the other hand, are on the opposite side of the heat spectrum and need constant monitoring by temperature sensors. Bearings, a lesser known application of temperature sensors, use them to measure the heat resulting from too much or too little friction. HVAC sensors and interfaces are one of the most common sensors that people encounter daily. Electrical systems may also use temperature sensors as part of their monitoring and maintenance. Poor electrical connections create heat, which is a sign that things are not going as they should. Even the IT field, which isn't typically associated with temperature sensitivity, needs temperature sensors to keep server banks, computer components, and other devices at an optimal temperature range. Lastly, temperature sensors are used in many solar energy plants and applications. The real magic begins when you can access and read the data that these sensors gather. Upkeep's long-range wireless temperature sensors are designed to do just that. Its simple interface, along with unique customization, ensures that you can monitor your temperature readings quickly and easily. The field of temperature sensors is rapidly evolving to meet the needs of today. It's an exciting time for companies that rely on these devices daily. With the advent of the Internet of Things and smart sensors, there are very few limits on what temperatures can and cannot be monitored today. Now, isn't that exciting? And there you have it, a comprehensive look at the world of industrial temperature sensors. We've explored their types, applications, and the exciting future that lies ahead with the advent of smart sensors and the Internet of Things. Thank you for joining us on this journey. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. To learn more about Upkeep and our innovative solutions for maintenance and reliability teams, visit us at upkeep.com. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep upkeeping.